We got some breaking earnings news from Adobe. The number's just hitting the wire here. Um, and the company, it looks like earnings per share ahead of analyst estimates, revenue ahead of analyst estimates, a $25 billion stock repurchase program. So why, you might ask, are the shares lower? Well, it looks like the second quarter forecast is what's to blame here. So let's go through the numbers here. That was sort of the top line headlines here. Uh, first quarter adjusted earnings per share $4.48, 10 cents ahead of estimates. Revenue rising 11% uh, quarter over quarter here and also ahead of analyst estimates. But the company's forecast for the second quarter revenue is at most $5.3 billion. Analysts have been looking for $5.31 billion. And specifically, in its digital media business, which is the larger part of its business, seeing revenue of at most $3.9 billion in the second quarter. Again, there, a slight shortfall to the $3.91 billion that analysts had been anticipating. And the $25 billion stock buyback authorization, not enough of a carrot, if you will, to cushion the blow, perhaps, of that, of that forecast. The other thing I noticed here, even as Shantanu Narayan, uh, who is the chair and CEO in the, in the statement, talks about the strong momentum, harnessing the power of generative AI. Um, I did look for the word Firefly, which I'm sure will mm -hmm. come up on the call. That is their generative AI product, um, but not mentioned at least yet in the statement. Yeah, it's interesting because this stock, I mean, obviously lower here, at least initially in the after hours, it was already in the red this year heading into the print, Julian. At least one thing, you know, we know one big thing investors have been concerned about is Adobe and whether it's actually going to benefit or be disadvantaged in this new AI era. Um, this idea there's going to be, you know, there are and will be uh, new AI tools that's going to commoditize the platform. Not everybody, of course, believes that, including uh, a very smart financial analyst we'll be talking to shortly who covers Adobe. Yeah, and there has been some, there have been certainly some defenders um, of the stock for sure. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of questions. And there were also some recent reports that each generative AI software suffered from some of the same issues, if you will, um, as some of Google's generative AI image generation software in particular, sort of you know historical images that didn't make sense, for example, that were generated mm -hmm. uh, on, par on the part of Qs. So, you know, still a lot of questions about some of these sure. products. Meanwhile, the market's under pressure today, but